Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Midwest Gunworks. And today we are at the range. Uh, we just did a, another video, which will probably come out after this one. I'm not 100% sure, but you will see that one also. That's going to be a really cool one. Um, but in today's video, we're going to be going over the MDT ground pod. We just started carrying the MDT ground pod and I am super excited about it. I think I'm actually going to put this on this exact uh, setup. Um, it is not a super expensive bipod like some out there, but it is definitely not cheap and chintzy. It is rock solid. So if you're not familiar, MDT has some great precision rifle and long range products from chassis to magazines to bipods. Uh, they have their Skypod, which is a lot more expensive than this one, um, but that is probably one of the best bipods in the game. So the MDT ground pod is a bipod that comes in around that $200 mark. So it is very affordable for what you're getting. So let's go over some of the features of the ground pod. So the MDT ground pod is an aluminum and carbon fiber bipod. It has carbon fiber legs. It does have some polymer on your buttons, your handle on the rear, and then your main part um, where you adjust your adjustments, your structure is going to be aluminum. So this makes for a very lightweight, but yet rigid bipod. This bipod coming in around a pound makes it to where it's not chintzy, cheap, super lightweight. Um, you don't wanna run it on a heavier rifle, but it's not super, super bulky. So you can run it on a hunting rifle or a lightweight setup. So some of the features that I really like on the ground pod are that you can deploy to, I guess, three different positions, four different positions. You've got your front position, you have your 45, you have your 90 or your normal position, and then you can also put it to the rear. So if you're going in a case or you want it out of the way, you can do that. That is done by the button that is on the side of the legs. And then if you want to adjust your legs down, all you do is pull them down and they will lock in to put them back up. You press the lever and they will go up and down. So this makes for a very quick deployment. If you wanna pull these out, you can grab them, put them down in your position. And then if you need to hurry up and get a higher position on them, you can pull these legs down just by pulling on them. They lock in and even at the far position, they do have some wiggle, they're going to. Um, but it's not a lot, especially when you're shooting, you're loading up. The 45 setting is pretty cool. So if I want to take my legs in and go to that 45, I can do that. I think that's a super cool position. And then on top of that, if you look at the rear, you have this handle. So this handle is going to allow you to loosen it. So I can pull this out allows me to turn it without it doing anything. And then I can loosen this and I have my can. So I can adjust my rifle. Um, it freely moves left and right. So if I need to do that, if I'm on an uneven surface and then say I'm on an uneven surface, I get there, I can tighten it down and then it's going to be where I want it. On the legs themselves, they do have rubber feet, but they do take the SkyPod accessories. So if I wanna do spike feet or anything like that, I can punch my pin out and put those in. As you can see, the model I have here is the Picatinny. They come in Picatinny um, 17S arms, so you can add your own mount. And then they also come Arca from MDT. So whether you're running Arca, Picatinny, or you wanna add your own, they have those options. So let's do some shooting today um, and see how the ground pod performs. that that is flat out cool so if i need to 
I can just quickly take this, loosen it, and then my gun can cant, tighten it up. If I want to, I can pull my legs down, adjust there, go back to my original point. But these rubber feet on this concrete, it's not moving at all. If I was in the grass or the dirt, I could get the spikes. The, the rubber ones would do just fine. Hope you guys liked today's video. Uh, if you're looking for a inexpensive yet high quality bipod, I think the ground pod is a great option. I will leave a link below. I'm um, going directly to the product page on our website. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section. As always, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button for all the upcoming content, the how to's, everything that we have going on and check us out at Midwest Gunworks dot com.